Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Amorous and this is Sprucing Up Mayhem. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making a Today's Advent Bible verses are in Luke chapter 1 verses 67 through 80. His father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, Praise be to the Lord God of Israel, because he has come to his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he said through his holy prophets of long ago. Salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant, the oath he swore to our father Abraham to rescue us from the hand of our enemies and to enable us to serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people the knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins, because of the tender mercy of our God, by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven, to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the path of peace. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, and he lived in the wilderness until he appeared publicly to Israel. We have these little window clings from last year and I want to kind of spread them around the house. I found these when I was putting all the Christmas bins away and I thought, oh, I'm so glad that I saved those from last year. I didn't, I just kind of put all them stacked together so that they would stay flat and then I laid them flat on the shelf to keep them. Um, maybe I'll find a better way to store them this year, but it, it seems like what I did was a pretty good idea. Everything seems in pretty good condition, so. I'm just going to stick you on the tripod and we're going to put these up together. Okay guys, so the big thing that I wanted to do today is basically starting tomorrow, we are in full like Christmas swing mode as far as food and everything, things that I have to prepare, things I have to bring to church, um, all of the things. So I need to iron out exactly what I need, start making a shopping list because I'm going to be going with my stepmom. Later today, um, she's going to drive me to the grocery store and we're going to do some um, 
holiday food shopping while we're there. So I need to go through my kitchen, <laughs> go through my cabinets, figure out what I have that I don't need to buy doubles of, figure out what I need, look at my recipes. I've got a couple cookie recipes that we're gonna be doing with my mother-in-law yet tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm gonna be doing these tomorrow. <laughs> ah! um, I should have I should have started this earlier because we said we were gonna go when my daughter got, got off of school and that's in like 10 minutes. <laughs> I always do this to myself. I always end up in a, in a rush to do something. But I think that's one thing that I'm actually really enjoying about this year is that I've been just taking my time, doing little things, um, not making it this big ordeal to decorate my house. I've been decorating my house every day or every other day for the last two weeks and it's actually been really nice. Um, I get frustrated when there's like a lot of clutter. Um, where's my selfie stick? You know what? Why am I holding my phone like this? I am crazy. <laughs> Let me, here it is. Just stick you on here. Okay, I hope I didn't make you too dizzy just then. But anyway, I have been decorating my house for about two weeks now. And I'm one of those people that I get really overwhelmed when there's a lot of extra clutter. There's a lot of extra stuff. Um, I like my house to just be a calm place where I can relax. And when there's a lot of extra stuff, it it makes my mind fuzzy and, and too busy. And um, anyway, I end up being one of those people that wanna rip everything down the day after Christmas. And I hate doing that because it's like the weeks that come after New Year's that are just yucky and they feel just drab and gray and there's not a ton to look forward to for the next couple months, especially here in Michigan because we get a lot of snow here, and so you're just kind of stuck in the house. I am not wanting to tear down all of our Christmas stuff the day after Thanksgiving. I want to keep the lights up. I want to keep things up that just are happy and cheerful and help passing the gray months, the months where there's no leaves on the trees and there's just dirty snow on the ground, you know. Most of you, I feel like, know what I'm talking about, especially if you live in a snowy state. Basically, I just went off on a really big tangent, um, but it has been such a blessing to live this this month just slow. Just not, I'm not focused on, I don't know, just the material things. I'm not focused on all of, all of the hustle and bustle doing these advents have really helped me to slow down mentally and physically and truly keep my mind and my heart praise the lord on what is actually the reason for the season and that is jesus and so <laughs> we can get wrapped up in all of the things that don't actually matter for this holiday <laughs> don't actually matter really at any time of year um and we can even put our family on the back burner because if you're not celebrating Christmas for Jesus, oftentimes you're celebrating Christmas because it is a time to be with your family, be with your loved ones, um, enjoy each other, show each other how much that you love each other. And you can even get distracted from that because you're so busy and stressed out with um, like how much the season costs and how much you know, how much there is to do and your busy, busy schedule. But I'm so thankful that I don't feel like that this year. I don't feel stressed out by the idea of going to a lot of places or making a lot of dishes. I don't feel stressed out about those things. And I don't know whether it was God leading me to do Vlogmas because I have lost more subscribers than I have gained. I've, I've lost quite a few subscribers since I started Vlogmas, but Truly, I'm not doing this for followers. I'm not doing this for um, attention or subscribers or anything like that. I am doing this because I wanna keep my eyes focused on Jesus. And so if not a single person were watching these, I would be okay with that because this is more for me and my family 
and the focus that I have than anything else. So I just talked a whole lot. I did, I just talked a whole lot, but I am finally going to get to work. I'm just gonna set um, my little selfie stick here has a tripod on it, which is amazing. I didn't realize that at first, but I'm just gonna set you up and I'm going to like zoom around the kitchen and figure out the things that I do have and then try to make a, a list of all the stuff that we have to get at the store. And then she should be here within the next hour and then we're gonna be going to the grocery store and getting the stuff we need. So let's definitely get to it. <laughs> My favorite foods at Christmas time is my granny sweet potatoes and I have started to make it a tradition that the last couple years I've been making it and of course it doesn't taste exactly like hers but it's one of those Christmas side dishes that I never want to be without at Christmas time. I'm back. I've been back for quite a while, but when I was at the grocery store, I got so hungry. I realized that I had not eaten anything all day. <laughs> and so as soon as I got home, I like ripped into the guacamole and chips that I got and I started eating while I was cooking dinner. And then I cooked dinner and then we ate dinner and then we played a cute game of, um, it's Candyland, but it's Play-Doh Candyland. And when my daughter originally got it, I thought that, well, I was, I was very hesitant to play it, but it was actually kind of cute. So we played that and I just wanted to show you, I've got a pile of food behind me. I'm just gonna turn you around. This is not even all of it. I put a lot of stuff away, like seasonings and things, things that I knew like I could grab for them easily, um, but they needed to be in their home for the next couple weeks. But it's all piled up over here and I'm gonna start like making a comprehensive meal plan uh, for each day. Um, you know, what, what needs to go with what. A lot of this is gonna go for us to make cookies tomorrow with my mother-in-law and that'll be really fun. Um, that'll be your next vlog, getting to see that, but yeah, so this is all the stuff that I got. Um, I didn't show myself organizing any of this stuff or putting any of it away because between getting home 
and then cooking dinner and uh, just everything. It just felt, I started to get overwhelmed with how much stuff was on the countertop. So I just cleaned it all off, put a bunch of stuff away. Um, my husband cleaned up dinner. I'm just now realizing. Thanks, babe, for cleaning up dinner. I started to feel really overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that was on the counters while I was trying to cook and everything. So I just cleaned it all off, organized everything, put a bunch of stuff away. And then I think for the rest of the night, um, we are pretty beat after doing all of that grocery shopping and, um, you know, playing the game and everything. It's 9.40. So yeah, it's our normal bedtime around here, even though it's Friday night. Um, but I think that we're going to go into our room and try to watch maybe a Christmas movie on our laptop or something. We're not really feeling going all the way downstairs to watch a movie together as a family. It's just a lot of work to get Maddie down there and everything. So I think we're just going to end the night with a movie on the laptop, cuddling together in bed. so much for watching this video i appreciate all of you so much i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you tomorrow with another day of vlogmas i love you guys and don't forget that jesus is the reason for the season i'll see you tomorrow bye